Every two weeks on The Beat Goes On, we bring two great wines to the table for tasting. Conducting the tasting this week is Master Chef Tony Astle from one of New Zealand's finest restaurants, Antoine's in Parnell. Tony Astle from Antoine's in Parnell. They're at always a pleasure to be here, I tell you. A master chef known throughout New Zealand. Well, of course. Master chef. <laughs> now, Apparently. <laughs> yes. You've got two beautiful wines on the table tonight. Thank you. Thank you for bringing them in. So just give us a quick rundown of what am I looking forward to tonight on the table? Well, tonight you have two very, very different wines. One of them is grape. The other one is bees. You know, so you've got, <laughs> yeah, bees. Bees. So the grapes is a Pinot Gris yeah. from Christchurch, Christchurch yeah. from the Port Hills. Yep. And you have the other one from Coromandel, mm. way there in Coromandel. Yeah. Uh, and that's made by bees. It's actually called the Sting. Sting. And sounds like a movie. It's mead. <laughs> it's honey mead. It's yeah. Think of it. What's your choice? Which one should we do first? Well, the first one tonight, we're going to do the Craycroft Chase, mm. and it's Woods Edge Pinot Gris. And now, it's from Canterbury. Who is behind this wonderful now, little vineyard? This is Alessandro and Wilma. They are the people that, and it is a little vineyard, it's unbelievably, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. and it's all, everything is hand harvested, and it's a microclimate, so it's just, it's special. Yeah. And to me, I mean, Christchurch is special to me because that's where I come from. So I was born in Christchurch. So, yeah. And we used to do the bri bridal <laughs> path all the time. And I'll tell you what, I didn't yeah. think I'd ever be seeing grapes growing on the side of it. Now those names, they're not uh, Kiwi names, are they? No, I, they're, I presume they're Italian ones. I yeah. mean, these are very Italian people yes. and they're passionate about what yeah. they do. Well, and they're going to have to know how to make wine, haven't well, they? Well, I would yeah. think yeah. so. And especially because it's Pinot Grigio. You know, yeah. it's Pinot Gris here, but it's Pinot Grigio in Italy. So <laughs> they, and they actually have made it. This mm. is how I like Pinot Gris. There's a lot of Pinot Gris around this country that mm. sugar, 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 or not so much sugar, but sweet. Yeah. This here to me is perfect for me because it's got that dry start. Yeah. It's got that persistent finish and it's got pears, it's got spice, but it's it runs around your mouth and it's so complimentary with food. Well, Tony, let the wine tasting Begin. Shall we see what an expert you are on this one? <laughs> okay. This is under a composition cork. It's not. It's not a Stelvin, so it's. Uh, we're allowed to use our corkscrew to open it. But yes, it's a composition uh, cork. It's not a cork cork. So. First of all, the aroma, Tony. The aroma. The aroma. Okay. You tell me about this. Or is it you. the bouquet or the, the aroma? Well, Tony? I think it's aroma, but bouquet. I mean, you yeah. swirl it around and it starts wafting out of the glass. It's great, oh, isn't it? Look, even the aroma is beautiful, isn't it? Shall we try it? Yep. Oh, it's dry. This is that what I love about this. That is heaven. That is. There's, there's a lot of Pinot Gris around this country that really, what are they? Some of them are so sweet, full of sugar. This is the style that I like. I mean, it's it's full in the beautiful, mouth. It's mouth beautiful. filling. It's also, yeah. but it's got that dry. And you're right. It's got. Yeah. It does have the pear sort of, um, but spiciness. And it's got, it's got that long, persistent mm. finish. I mean, it's still going around your mouth, isn't it? I mean, it's problem is we are we're only really dealing with great wines, aren't we? So every week we can do nothing but go, wow, that's yeah. fantastic. But we are picking wines that I yeah. actually like to have on my yes, list, exactly. and also the wines that I like. I've been drinking this wine now for a long time before a lot of people found out about it, and mm. I'm just so thrilled now mm. that they are getting recognition because you know five years ago I started, I had this on my wine list, and I've been, I've been using it a lot, but. Last night I decided, okay, we're going to be trying this one. What am I going to put with it? So I paired it with a couple of dishes. Yep. And I do this <coughs> raw scallop and tuna tartare with a little bit of wasabi. Well, this just was beautiful with it because it was dry enough for, for the yeah. beautiful tuna. And then I thought, well, what else? Well, scallops. It was perfectly perfect with scallops. It would also go well with a, a steamed chicken or something. But it's, if you wow. just get this. This is just superb. It's a very, very good example mm. of a Pinot Gris, and people really mm. should go onto their website and look at this because they have a good story to tell, but what's more, they make damn good wine. Yeah. So let's go over the name again. It's called Woods Edge, but it's, it's from... It's called Cray Craycroft Chase, and yep. it's Woods Edge, and it's a single vineyard. Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. Well, I can recommend it. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's a star. Wine number two, Tony. Wine number two. Wine number two is the Buzzy Bees. The Sting. Mm. Look at the shape of it. It's just a great bottle. Yeah. Um, and it's well, and, and it's simple. Sting. 
And it just says sting. sting. Honey mead. Sting. That's what it says. And a beautiful story on the back about yeah. little bees. But I think this is quite amazing too because it's from Coromandel. Mm. Look at, look look at, at the, the different colour. It's, it's, you think honey. Wait, yeah, till you, yeah. wait till you get your nose around this one. Now this is revolutionary for our show. We've never had a wine made from honey. Who has put this beautiful wine together, Tony? Who was it? I met this man by chance. He came knocking on my door wanting me to buy this. And I went, oh, honey, I'm another, another dessert wine. Do yeah. I need this? And then he said mead. And I thought, hmm, mead. Now, that's when my mind started, you know, oh, yeah. you know, the evil side of me sort of came in, you know. But it, the, mead was medicinal, they said. I think people just got drunk with it. That's all there was <laughs> yeah. to it. Yeah. But I thought, and he showed me the bottle, and I thought, I've got to have this. So I yeah. tried it, yeah. fell in love with it, and we've been selling it ever since. But the mm. smell is wafting out of that glass, but it's, it smells like honey, doesn't it? Here we have a beekeeper turned winemaker, of course, and he's got some, he of course produces lots and lots of beautiful honey. Manuka all, honey, which is in Manuka, and it's all organic. But then he thought, why not make a wine out of it? Well, what a good man. Yeah. What a good man. We <laughs> like that. You know, honey's honey, but um, this is so good. And it's yeah. made um, from the healing springs. You know, it's yeah. 15 minutes away from Hotwater Beach uh, yeah. on Coromandel. Now, Paul sent us over some uh, pictures of the, uh, of, of the, um, uh, where he, with the, uh, look at the, look at the, look at these hives, Tony. I mean, this looks like New York. Yeah, uh, it's honestly, unbelievable. They're it? the cleanest, most beautiful hives I've ever yeah. seen. We, we're actually very lucky. We get dedicated people, don't yeah. we? Now, this man ah. has actually obviously put his, put his hand up this, here, yeah. and he wants to do something. But yeah. well, you, let's let's let's, let's take the, the the bouquet first of all. I mean, it's it's unctuous. Oh. Is that a, is that a good word? Unctuous. I mean, the, you can smell yes. the stickiness. Oh yes. And look, it's got legs on it. Now, legs is when the glycerine's up the glass. I mean, there is legs on there. At this stage, this is a mind pass. I mean, what on earth are we drinking here? This is nectar of the gods, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to start having toast every morning with sting. This is beautiful. <laughs> and it does have yes. a sting. Good name, isn't it? Gosh. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Oh. I've been actually using it with um, honey panna cotta. Now, this is inside of panna cotta, which is an Italian dessert. Yeah. but it's um, the sweetness of that just comes through, and it's absolutely mm. beautiful when it's chilled, and you've got that wobbly, mm. wobbly panna cotta in it. Yes. But um, it's well worth hunting up this one. This way. Oh, thank you, Tony. Thank you. You've done. A, you brought two beautiful wines to the table, and I thank you very much because I get to drink oh. them. How are you going to beat these two, uh, Tony? Oh, oh, we'll go great. out. We'll do the sniffing <laughs> as you do. Tony Astle. Good to see you. See you next week. Bye bye.